Hi everybody, I'm Dan Wells. I write horror, fantasy, and science fiction, and I talk about games on the internet. Today we're looking at Icons A to Z, which is one of my favorite game supplements just because I am delighted by the structure of it. Icons is a superhero game, and we've talked about it before. It's kind of like Fate meets the old Marvel game. It has a lot of very simple rules, plays very quickly, but a ton of variety and character options for creating your superheroes. Now, what the A to Z book does is it's basically just a source book that adds a bunch of extra rules if you want them. And it is constructed in a really modular way, so you can only add the rules in that you really want to add, and you could ignore all the rest of them. And the way it is constructed, let's take a look at it here. Awesome. So, this shows us, uh, let's, let's take a look at the table of contents. It's just literally the alphabet. Uh, aliens, battles, cosmic, demons, environments. Uh, so, like, let's take a look, for example, at uh, the environments. Boom. Um, if you want to play in extra weird places. So, most games take place, you know, in a uh, very Earth-like environment on the surface. But what happens if you want to go underwater? Well, here's a bunch of rules for underwater. How do you drown? How do you move around? How do you fight? Uh, how do powers work? And then they have different environments. If you're in extreme heat or cold, what about if you go underground? Things like that. So, hooray! There's a lot of really good things in here. Um, I liked Cosmic. If you want to do these big kind of Green Lantern core stories out flying around through space where you're fighting Galactus or, or stopping big planetary threats. Um, battles, there's a mass combat system that you can bring in if you want to use it for something. Um, I really liked this one, Golden Age. If you want to do some time travel or if you just want to actually just straight up set your game in like the 30s or 40s, uh, like the very old Captain America comics when he first came out and things like that. You can do all of that. Um, they've got... J is for justice, a whole section about how to use uh, courtrooms or the justice system and things like that. They've got lost worlds. What if you want to go to, you know, the island where there's still dinosaurs and things like that that show up in comics all the time. Uh, they've got a section for how to build headquarters for yourselves, how to build evil organizations that you can fight, or good teams that you can be a part of. Um, and, uh, of course, Z is for zombies, so that you can fight against zombies. And how do zombies work in this rule set and in a superhero world? Um, P is for pets. So if you want to have an animal sidekick or something like that to follow you around and fight with you. You've got all of that. The The whole book is just really well done. And uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite supplements just because of how exhaustive it is, how complete and detailed it is, while still being very simple to play, very intuitively organized. Just a fantastic book all the way around. So if you are looking for a supers game and you haven't already tried icons definitely try it out it's one of my favorite ones out there because of how quick and simple and narrative it is and when you try it absolutely a to z should be your first second purchase <laughs> you get icons and then you pick up a to z you will not be sorry because it can do everything that you want it to do anyway that's been this very short review for a very simple but wonderful RPG book. Uh, my name is Dan Wells, and you are awesome.